næste Bøje Larsens blog. Jeg håber, du vil glæde sig over den video, jeg præsenterer i dag. Yesterday, I went to my doctor in Schritzkestress, a terrible name, which my doctor does not have a cure for, here in Berlin, where I live. Going home from the doctor, I passed a bakery in the same street, where people were sitting outside in the sunny weather and drinking coffee. I saw a person, whom I had met some time before. He is close to being a friend. He is a musician and painter. Intelligent. And kind, but also sometimes likes to provoke people including me his artist name is manfredo his real name is manfred nepal this is one of manfredo's paintings death wine and fish and black to make it more depressing and the colors that manfredo has used in more intense colors perhaps that would emphasize the theme better what do you think i sat down at their table There was a lively discussion among the people at the table about a lot of subjects, very little about art, a lot about Napoleon, who was Emperor of France from 1804 to 1914 and again in 1815, and some about another French, Marcel Pétain. During World War II, when France was occupied by Germany, he led a puppet government, and a little about Hitler. All three, Napoleon, Pétain, and Hitler had a violent death. Napoleon was executed. Pétain was, after World War II, condemned to death, but then pardoned. Hitler committed suicide. One of the participants in the discussion mentioned the old biblical saying, those who live by the sword, die by the sword. Manfredo knew and made a list of Napoleon's leading officers, later called Marshals of the Empire. He had, however, doubts about the names of some of them. But could you, my viewer, remember any of them? I cannot. Here are the names of some of the marshals of the empire. I looked them up on Google. Here is the list. Joachim Murat, 1767 to 1815. I show a picture of him. Michel Ney, André Messina, Louis Nicolas Davou, Jean Lons, Jean de Dieu Soult, Louis Gabriel Suchet, Etienne MacDonald, Nicholas Udenat. There was also a discussion of the importance of the height of dictators. Adolf Hitler was 1.73 meters tall, lower than many of his idealized soldiers. Joseph Goebbels was, by the way, only 1.65 meters tall. Mussolini was 1.70 meters tall. Napoleon Bonaparte, historical records indicate, was about 1.68 meters tall. There has even been a theory or idea called something like the short man complex, according to which short men often compensate for their unnormal stature by being strong and aggressive or becoming dictators. One at the table doubted that Napoleon was especially small. That is how small men were at that time. But most of his marshals of the empire were taller. Manfredo showed and gave me a poster for his concert in a week's time. He invited me to come to the concert and make a video on YouTube of the concert. I will come, and I hope to make a video about the concert. I have even prepared a poster to put up at the concert of my video. So, I better make that video. Thank you for watching the short conversation at the table, which only lasted 15 minutes while I was there. But I learned some history. Perhaps, you also learned some.